Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for rocking with me today, man. Today we're going to be checking out YouTube. All I want is you. All right. We've got the official music video up here, it looks like. So let's go ahead and read this one off. It's got a donation request coming in from Buy Me a Coffee. It says, Hi, Sean, please react to YouTube. All I want is you. Grateful and inspired Bono wrote, All I want is you for his wife. The song was released on Rattle and Hum, an album that was billed as YouTube's exploration of American roots music. Songs like Desire and and when love comes to town certainly fit that description but all i want is you stood apart from the bluesy gospel influence songs that filled rattle and hums track list the chord progression was simple even him like while the production itself was spacious and grand thanks to master arranger van dyke parks orchestral string production the video is a clear tribute to todd browning's work and you can understand it both from the main character a dwarf played by pilo risi uh, and the plot Freaks narrates about a circus in which love stories are born between the members. The most part are deformed and odd. Hans the door falls in love with the beautiful Cleopatra, the trapeze uh, artist, but she's in love with Urkel, the strong man. All right. Thanks, Sean. And more power. Okay. So I'll try to keep that in mind going through this one and playing it out. We've got over six minutes of music right here from you two. Don't think I've ever heard this one before from the guy. So we're going to dive in and see what's happening. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member here, YouTube Patreon. If you guys are enjoying the content, man, great way to help me out. Here we go. You say you want diamonds on the ring of gold. Say you want your story to remain untold, but all the promises we made from the cradle to the grave.
love that moment that we just got. Very intense. Did my man actually fall to his death? This song's a movie, man. This song's a movie. I'm going to need somebody to resolve the ending there for me. Obviously, I didn't follow along too well. Um, it, it looked like he fell straight down, but then obviously he's like soaring, zooming around, and I don't know if he ended up killing uh, the woman or the man right here. Yeah, so I know it showed her sleeping alone in the bed. I didn't know, hey, maybe she's already passed. Um, and this is just like kind of her stuck in the, you know, in between, in limbo. Um, or if it was the man that she was dating that died. It's just odd because he throws the ring in the grave, right? And I would be thinking he was throwing the ring to the woman um that's no longer there but maybe you guys could break that down for me as far as just emotion you too man they know how to you know there's certain bands that they just have these these certain imprints on their sound that make it them one thing they're they're known for um if i'm thinking metallic i'm thinking about the flawless transitions that they constantly produce if i'm thinking about ray just the way they can build intensity and get you hyped up into a song and they know how to find that pocket of groove and funk um and punk and like bring it in man and just make you bang with them bro you know what i mean they've got these signature stamps um and this one with you too it's the way they build up an intense moment and just let it almost just explode um they they amplify it they intensify it and then it's just exploding emotion U2 has this way of doing that they did it once again right here but this song really did come off like a movie or or, or a film scene to me um so it was great with the video to follow along with it even though i may have missed the step there at the end about what happened um it definitely helped build that intensity that i felt on the song right loving everything about it their guitarist is magical man uh when he's doing his thing and i love i love the way bono just like follows the track with his voice man he also just like the music kind of explodes in that uh direction so does he right he follows that intensity he'll start shouting out uh the word over and over to just like uh, get the point across get the message across so i love this one from you too hadn't ever heard it before all i want is you let's go ahead and dive into a little bit of the back all right so we got this one right here all i want is you from you too rattle and hum okay this was released in um 1989 all right and the saw the lyricist on this one is mr bono himself okay it was the final track on their 1988 album rattle and hum and was released um in 1989 it says a little bit of the history on it. it says it was released in the UK in 1989. Uh the B-side features covers of the Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody. Man, I love Unchained Melody. Uh, that's cool that they covered that, man. They got Everlasting Love on there as well. It reached number four on the UK charts. All right, string arrangements on the song are done by, are done by Van Dyke Parks. It said that it was featured during an episode of Hindsight and the final scenes of the 2011 film Contagion. The song October appears on the compilation album The Best of 1980 to 1990. Here it talks about the music video 
video. It says director um, Mr. Avis shot the promotional video in the town of Ostia outside Rome on April 1989. The video takes an unusual cinematic approach to the song with YouTube band members making only brief cameo appearances. The video tells the story of a person with dwarfism played by Mr. Risi who falls in love with a trapeze artist, one of whom apparently dies towards the end uh, while there is disagreements amongst fans about exactly who has died the edge was quoted as saying it is the trapeze artist who dies so yeah that's that's the way i thought of it too because he throws the ring in there why why would he throw that ring it looked like he was really excited to pick up that ring and take it to her that day um that fateful day right but when he gets there the guy is without a t-shirt he clearly knows that there's some romancing kind of happening he's upset and it almost felt like to me he was either going to prove a point or going to end his own life there at the end. He ends up falling, but it, it's interesting because she it looks like she moves aside and he goes beyond her. And then there's even a guy kind of walking in the tent and he moves aside. So that visual was extremely um, confusing. But despite that scene, at the end of the film, on this day of the funeral, she's not there. She is in her bed. Um, tossing and turning i almost take that as a nightmare scene a limbo scene um and then he tosses the ring into the grave right so i don't know i could see why there's confusion and disagreement it doesn't give you a definitive in ending so you almost have to just go with what you think happened right so appreciate the video made us think love the song sounded beautiful loved reading a little bit about the music right there uh so appreciate you guys man hopefully you enjoyed rocking out with me today don't forget to like subscribe check out the description let me know more from you too that you want featured on the channel man consider becoming a member great way to help me if you guys would like to all right thank you and i'll see you on the next one peace